through to the eraser section, resulting in an interference pattern at the screen. We make the decision of whether to know the path of the original photon or whether to erase that knowledge. This conscious choice should be no different to the random decision of the beam splitter. Now we have a way to send a binary code from the switch, which is located at the which way slash eraser end of the experiment, to the screen, which could theoretically be very distant in both space and time. Okay, we need one more alteration. Before the photons get to the which way end, we freeze them for a day. That's long enough to buy lots of lottery tickets before the draw. Actually, you can't really freeze photons, so maybe we bounce them between Earth and the Moon like 8,000 times. Let's just assume we can do that part perfectly. So we turn on our device, photons start hitting the screen, building up some pattern. Once the lottery is drawn, we use our switch to tap out the lottery numbers in binary code. Those numbers will emerge in the interference patterns that were recorded a day ago. Here's my question. Why am I going to be sadly disappointed after I turn on my invention? Oh, I do get a signal. Nice work, future me. And that signal does contain the interference patterns from my future choices with perfect fidelity. But for some reason, I can't read the numbers. Oh, I do get a signal. Nice work, future me. And that signal does contain the interference patterns from my future choices with perfect fidelity. And that signal does contain the interference patterns from my future choices with perfect fidelity. Oh, I do get a signal. Nice work, future me. And that signal does contain the interference patterns from my future choices with perfect fidelity.